into your book. Mm -hmm. Go into um, in the um, index that you're looking for. Okay. Uh, Yeah. It will, is that you both have the same book? Okay, yeah. good. Yeah. Oh, nice. yeah. Okay, yeah. So that's going on. Okay. I'm just gonna go over and review it a little bit. So a natural nail is also known as onyx. Onyx. O N X O N Y X. So if you look onyx. in your book, mm -hmm. next page. Oh, next page. Okay. 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 You got it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Um. You ready? Yeah. So okay. anything. The natural nail, also known as the onyx, and it's a hard protective plate composed mainly of keratin, the same fibrous protein found in skin and hair. The keratin in natural nails is harder than the keratin in the skin and hair. The natural nail is located at the end of the finger or toe. It has an abundance of skin and is part of the end gravitatory system which is made up of the skin and its various organs. Nail plates protect the tip of the fingers and toes and the appearance can reflect the general health of the body. A normal healthy nail is firm but flexible. The surface is shiny, smooth and unspotted with no wavy ridges, pits or splits. A healthy nail also, it's whitish and translucent in appearance with the pinkish color of the nail bed showing through. In some races, the nail bed may have more yellow tones. The water content of the nail varies according to relative humidity of the surroundings environment. In human environment, nails contain more water. A healthy nail may look dry and hard, but its water content is actually between what? 15 and 25 percent. Okay, so uh, the nail holds a natural water of 15 to 25 percent. The water contains directly affects the nail's flexibility. Uh, the lower the water content, the more rigid the nail becomes. Coating the nail plate with an oil based nail conditioner or nail polish improves flexibility by reducing water loss. These products also prevent excess water absorption. So, the natural nail unit is composed of major several parts, and that's including what? Do you remember? Um, nail bed, nail mm. plate, mm -hmm. cuticle, make. Is yeah, nail cuticle. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cuticle, matrix, eponychium, mm -hmm. hyponychium, and the ligaments. Right, and what else? One more. Um, the free edge. The nail folds. The nail folds. So, nail bed, nail plate, matrix, cuticle, eponychium. Eponychium specialized ligaments and nail folds. Mm -hmm. So the natural nail unit is composed of seven major parts, including the nail plate, nail bed, the matrix, nail cuticle, econicvian, hyponicvian, specialized ligaments, and nail folds. Now the nail plate is a hard and keratin place that sits and covers the nail bed. It is the most visible and functional part of the nail unit. The nail plate is re 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 relatively porous and will allow water to pass through it much more easily than through normal skin of equal thickness. As it grows, the nail plate slowly slides across the nail bed. The nail plate is formed by the matrix cells. 
The sole job of the matrix cells is to create nail plate cells. The nail plate may appear to be one solid piece, but is actually constructed of about a hundred layers of nail cells. The free edge is the part of the nail plate that extends over the tip of the finger or toe. So Victoria, nail plate is this part. Mm -hmm. That is considered your nail plate. Mm -hmm. And the nail plate sits on top of the nail bed. Okay. So the nail bed is underneath the nail plate. Okay. Okay. And I don't know, you should have a diagram right there that you can look and see the picture yeah. to see the breakdown of it. Now the nail bed is the portion of the liver skin that supports the nail plate as it grows towards the free edge because it is richly supplied with blood vessels. The nail bed has a pinkish appearance from the lumina to the area just before the free edge of the nail. The nail bed contains many nerves and is attached to the nail plate by a thin layer of tissue called the bed etholipium. The bed etholipium helps guide the nail plate along the nail bed as it grows. Now, the matrix is the area where the nail plate cells are formed. And the matrix cells produce the nail plate cells. So what is the matrix cells? produce the nail plate cells what what else it produce what it has all the nerves and what else tissue a lift yes blood lymph oh blood vessels mm -hmm. yeah. blood vessel the matrix contains nerves lymph and blood vessels to nourish the matrix cells as long as it's nourished and healthy the matrix will continue to create new nail plate cells the matrix extends from under the nail fold at the base of the nail plate. The visible part of the matrix that extends from underneath the liver skin is called the lunia. And your Victoria mm -hmm. is that half moon shape, that white half moon shape uh -huh. that sits up here. Uh -huh. That's where, uh, that's the lunia. Lunina, Luna, love. Okay. It is the whitish half moon shape at the base of the nail. The whitish color is called, um, caused by the reflection of light off the surface of the matrix. The light of the color of the lunia shows the true color of the matrix. Every nail has a lunia, but some luminars are short and remain hidden of the the echinicium. Growth and appearance of the nails can be affected if an individual is in poor health. If a nail disorder or disease is present or if there has been an injury to the matrix. So a lot of times when we have, I'm quite sure everybody have uh, experienced bruised nails mm -hmm. and you see that darkness and then when you see that bruised nail, that's just because what part of that nail is destroyed? Matrix. Exactly. So that is the part of the matrix that's being has been destroyed. And the e e pony shim? Huh? E what's it what's it what e? e yeah. Uh-huh. We didn't get to e yet. Oh, okay. 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 So um now the nail cuticle okay. is the dead colorless tissue attached to the natural nail plate. The cuticle comes from the underside of the skin that lies above the natural nail plate. This tissue is incredibly sticky and difficult to remove from the nail plate. Mm -hmm. Its job is to seal the space between the natural nail plate and the living skin. This prevents injury of foreign material and microorganisms and help avoid injury and infection. So the cuticle is basically a protection of the nail mm -hmm. plate. Okay. Okay. And it's considered dead skin. It is mm -hmm. a colorless tissue and it's attached to the nail plate. Uh, now the Echinicium 
is the liver skin at the base of the natural nail plate that covers the matrix area. Mm -hmm. The econucleum is often confused with the nail cuticle. So, what we always talk about, or whenever we go to the nail salon and we get this pushed back mm -hmm. or cut, we always call it the cuticle. Yeah. It's not, it's the econucleum. Okay. That's what it really is called. Okay. But we always say cuticle, but okay. it's not. So, like I said, the cuticle is a dead, colorless um, tissue. Okay. okay. That is attached to the natural nail plate. The econipium is what we always get done in the salon. Okay. It's always being pushed or it's always being cut, mm -hmm. but you're not allowed to cut. Okay. You're not allowed to cut any type of cuticle in the salon. It is prohibited and it's against the law because we're not doctors and only doctors are allowed to cut. Especially if you have somebody that's a diabetic, you gotta be careful who you're cutting, okay? okay. So, once again, the econipium is the living skin at the base of the natural nail plate that covers the matrix area. The econipium is often confused with the nail cuticle. They are not the same. Mm -hmm. The cuticle is the dead tissue adhered to the nail plate. Okay. The econipium is the living tissue. So the cuticle is the dead tissue and the econipium is the living tissue mm -hmm. that grows up to the nail plate. Okay. The cuticle comes from the underside of this area where it completely detaches from the econipium and strongly attaches to the new growth of the nail plate. It pulls free to form a seal between a natural nail plate and the econipium. Cosmetologists are pro uh, prohibited from cutting the econipium even when a client requests it during the service. Okay. Okay. So the hypernicium is the slightly thickened layer of the skin that lies between the fingertip and the free edge of the natural nail plate. It, it forms a protective barrier that prevents microorganisms from invading and infecting the nail plate. So underneath here, that is what we call the hypernicium. Okay. So the hypernicium, because some people underneath here, um, you may run across some are thicker than others, some are not. Um, that falls underneath the free edge, the extended free edge. So that's the uh, hypernicium. Okay. And um, it prevents microorganisms from invading and infecting the nail bed. So once again, the cuticle is what? Is it dead living skin or is it living skin? Which one is living skin? It's the living skin and the hypernicium is what? Underneath here, right underneath, underneath the nail plate. Right. So underneath the nail plate. The cuticle is what? Dead. Dead. So cuticle is dead tissue. Mm -hmm. uh, Econicium is living tissue, mm -hmm. and hypernicium is the um, the tissue that lies underneath the free edge of the nail. Now, special ligaments is a tough band of fibrous tissues that connect bones, a whole organ, in place. Specialized ligaments attach the nail bed and the matrix bed to the underlying bone. These ligaments are located at the base of the matrix and around the wedges of the nail bed. Now, the nail folds because we kind of saw it. Um, forget about that and we forget about the nail fold so that's part of the, the part of the nail so the nail fold on normal skin that surrounds the nail plate these folds form the nail grooves so which are the splits and the farrows on the side wall 
and the side wall, also known as lateral nail fold. It is the fold of the skin overlapping the side of the nail of the nail itself. So over here is your folds. Like the skin part? Right. Okay. That's your nail folds. Okay. And it also, on your nail folds, you also have uh, the, the grooves. The I've always grooves. wondered, because I have one on this nail that I always bothered me. Yeah, okay, yeah. So, um, let's go over, let's see Vic Victoria. Uh, what color is the Lumia? Lumia? What color? Just think about the new, new Lumina. The Lumina is... White? Right. It's the half-shaped moon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. It's the half-shaped moon. Okay. Mm -hmm. That lies underneath what? What is this? Huh? Is that right? It lies underneath where? Is it underneath? Is it within the matrix? Yeah. Right. It's within the matrix. Okay. And with it being within the matrix, it sits close to what we thought is the um, cuticle. Okay. Okay, and what it the nail is composed of seven major parts. What are the seven major parts? Blood vessels. Mm -hmm. Seven Blood major vessels. parts is what? Mm -hmm. Nail plate. Nail plate. Nail bed. Mm -hmm. Nail cuticle. Mm -hmm. The matrix, mm -hmm. hypernychium. Now plate, now bed, now cuticle, now matrix. Hypernychium. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. mm -hmm. Hypernychium, specialized ligaments, and the nail folds. Okay. So I'm counting eight things. Am I crazy? No, let me count myself. <laughs> Because I. Seven. That's why I forgot One, nail folds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It is eight. Thank you. It is eight. Mm -hmm. It's eight. It's eight major parts to the nail. Nail plate, nail bed, nail cuticle, nail matrix, high connection, special ligaments, and nail folds. And epinechium. Epinechium. Oh, epinechium. Yeah. It can be E, right? E, so, yeah. one is E, and one is H. Okay. That's eight, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, the skin structure, growth, and nutrition, you learn that nutrition, exercise, and a person's general health can affect the health of the skin. These factors affect the growth and the health of the nail plate as well. A normal nail grows forward from the matrix and extends over the tip of the finger. Once again, a natural nail grows forward from the matrix and extends over the tip of the finger. So why do you think the matrix, Victoria, remember what is the matrix made of? Do you remember what the matrix is made of? It is the cells. The cells. Right. It is made up of the cells, and those cells contain nerves, mm -hmm. lymph, and blood vessels. How do you spell that then? Blood, huh? How, what did you say? Lymph. Lymph. L Y M P H. Lymph. Okay. And okay, blood nice vessels. Lymph and it's contained of nerves, mm -hmm. lymph, mm -hmm. and blood vessels okay. to nourish the matrix cells. Okay. So while nails can't grow 
and when we get nail extension mm -hmm. and when we get a nail extension when our nails start growing mm -hmm. that's coming from the matrix the matrix is yeah. right that's all coming from the matrix okay. okay and once the matrix of the nail because just think of the matrix is like the foundation yeah of everything of the whole um uh, eight components of the nail mm -hmm. so once we start um Losing uh, our, our blood, our blood cell count mm -hmm. start dropping. Our blood start dropping, so that affects our nails. Yeah. It affects us as a whole yeah. in our body. It's just mm -hmm. that each body has its own function of what it does. Mm -hmm. So you have cells for the eyes. You got cells for the nose. You mm -hmm. got cells for the hair. All of that has a lot to do with it. So a lot of times when we go to the doctor and when they want to do your blood work and when they want to do your blood work, mm -hmm. they get in the count of everything, your red blood cells, your white blood cells, your cholesterol, yeah. your, um, you know, just overall of everything. Okay. So, um, so a normal nail grows forward from the matron and extends over the tip of the finger Normal healthy nails can grow in a variety of shapes, depending on the shape of the matrix. So I like that. Depending on the shape of the matrix, some people nails grow oval, some people nails grow square, some people, we gonna go over, we, you're gonna look and see the different shapes of the nails. And then a lot of it has a lot to do with hereditary too. So genetics. The length, width, and the way it's curved of the matrix determines the thickness, the width, the curve of the natural nail plate. So, the way the length is, the width is, the curve of it comes from the nail plate. Mm -hmm. So, at the nail plate, when we look at our nails, we look at our nails and see how they grow. Okay? Um, for example, a longer matrix produce a thicker nail plate and highly curved matrix creates a highly curved free edge. No product or procedure can make the nail plate grow thicker because a thicker nail plate would require a larger matrix. So once again, uh, a longer matrix Produce a thicker nail. Produce or a uh, procedure can make the nail plate grow thicker because a thicker nail plate would require a larger matrix. Toenails are also thicker and harder than fingernails because the toenail matrix is longer than the fingernail matrix. So you have different shapes over here, concord, concave, convex, square, angular, narrow, fan, trapezoid, olive, date, <laughs> come up with these names, acorn, flat, or uh, arch. Um, these different shapes, I'm like coming up and looking at these names. <laughs> Now, the average rate of nail growth in a normal adult is one-tenth of an inch. One-tenth of an inch per month. So remember, the average rate of a nail growth in a normal adult is one-tenth of an inch per month. But many factors affect this growth rate. Age, for example, affect nail growth. So compared with the nails of the average adult, children's nails grow more rapidly. And elderly adults' nails grow more slowly. Seasons also affect the nail growth rate. Nail grows faster in the summer. Why do you think nails grow faster in the summer? The sun. humidity. Right, the humidity. Mm -hmm. Because of the moisture. The moisture and the moisture of it is the water intake. And what is the percentage of a, a natural nail should have? 15 to 25. Exactly. So that's why the nail 
Um, moisture is really good for everything. Because our bodies are 70% water. So, um, season also affect milk growth. Natural nails grow faster in the summer than they do in the winter. Pregnancy dramatically affects the nail growth because of the hormone changes in the body. Nail growth rates increase dramatically during the last trimester of pregnancy and decreases quickly after delivery and return into a normal as hormone levels return normal. In spite of a popular myth, no growth rate accelerate during pregnancy whether or not a woman takes prenatal vitamins. A nail's position of the body affects its growth rate. Nail growth rate is faster on the nail of the middle finger and slower on the thumb. So once again, nail growth rate is faster on the middle finger, and it's amazing, the middle finger of all, <laughs> and slower on the thumb. And toenails grow more slowly than fingernails, which we all know that. Now nail formation. If disease, injury, or infection occurs in the matrix, the shape or the thickness of the nail plate can change. In fact, these conditions are generally the only reason that a person will shed a nail. Healthy nails are not shed automatically. And the way they help healthy hair is shed often after disease, injury, or infection that has affected the nail's growth. The natural nail will return to its healthy growth as long as the matrix is healthy and undamaged. Ordinarily, replacement of a natural fingernail takes about four to six months. Mm -hmm. So, four to six months it takes to replace um, a damaged nail. Okay. Okay. Toe nails take about nine months to a year to fully replace. Replace the... Right. If to it's fully damaged. replace a toenail mm -hmm. takes nine months to a year. Okay. If it's damaged? Yeah, okay. if it's damaged. If it's damaged, it's a replacement. Okay. So within it being replaced, um, it takes uh, nine months to a year, and the fingernail takes four to six months. Okay. Know your nails. Most cosmetologists are interested in nails because the creativity opportunities they present as with every other area of cosmetology, this creativity must be grounded in the full awareness of the structure and psychology of the nail and the surrounding tissues. Working on strong, healthy nails can be a pleasure. Remember that they are licensed cosmetologists you are allowed to work only on a healthy nail and with skin, no visible signs of disease or infection. So now I'm going into the nail disorders. Um, Sorry, one second. Uh-huh. My next page is... It will be... It should say nail disorders. Next one goes right into hair. It does? And yeah. And skin. And that one? Hair and scalp, Oh, right? hair and scalp, yeah. Let me Let see, me see if I can... Oh. I'm just going to look in the index and see. Yeah, okay. This will be underneath Nelson's order 642. 642. Okay. Okay. Let's see. 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 Let's yeah, nail disorders. Thank you. Yeah, she was like, ooh. Okay. Thank you, but no thank you. Yeah. <laughs> so to give client, this is where we are going into like uh, the different types of these nail disorders. 
To give clients professional and responsible service and care, you need to learn about the structure and growth of the nail, as you did in Chapter 9. Nail structure and growth. Now you must learn about the disorders and the diseases of nails so that you will know when it's safe to work on a client. Nails are interesting and surprising part of the human body. They are small mirrors of the general health of the entire body. Certain health conditions may be uh, may first be revealed by changing the nails, a visible disorder, poor nail growth. Some conditions are easily treated in a salon. Hay nails, for instance, are bruised nail beds that need camouflage, but some are infectious and cannot be treated by salon professional. Carefully studying this chapter will improve your knowledge and expertise in care for the nails. So, nail disorders, as you know, a normal healthy nail is firm but flexible. The surface is shiny, smooth, unspotted with no wavy ridges, pits or splits. A healthy nail also is whitish, translucent in appearance with the pinkish color of the nail bed showing through. In some races, the nail bed may have um, more yellow tones. A nail disorder is a condition caused by injury or disease of the nail unit. Most, if not all, your client have experienced a common nail disorder at some time in their lives. A cosmetologist should recognize a normal and abnormal nail condition, understand what to do, and able to help a client with a, natural, with a nail disorder in one or two ways. You can tell your client that they may have a disorder and refer them to a physician if required. Um, you can um, improve certain nail plate conditions if the problem is cosmetic and not a medical condition or disorder. If you have professional responsibility and a requirement of your license to know which options to choose, a client whose nail or skin is affected, inflamed, broken, swollen should not receive services. Once again, if the nail skin is affected, inflamed, broken, a swollen should not receive services, in which that's not, you know, really true. Because if a nail is broken, you can always um, replace it. Mm -hmm. Or if they're talking about the nail plate, so they need to specify. So, like my nails, I lost two. So being that I lost two, they broke. Mm -hmm. So why can't I put two extensions on top of it? Yeah. You understand? So yeah. they're saying you're not allowed to, but this is all. Instead, the client should refer, be referred to a physician to determine the type of treatment that is required. Bruised nails are a condition in which a blood clot forms underneath the nail plate, causing a dark, purplish spot. This discoloration are usually due to small injuries to the nail bed. The dry blood absorbs into the nail bed and the tissues on uh, ethylipium tissue on the underside of the nail plate and grows out with it. This treat this injured nail gently and advise your client to be more careful with their nails. If they want to avoid this problem in the future, advise them to um, treat their nails like jewels and not tools. <laughs> These conditions can usually be covered with nail polish or camouflage with open nail enhancement. Now, eggshell nails, okay? Eggshell nails is when the nails curve over into the what? Curve into what? Um, the hypernicum? Yes. So, um, eggshell nails are noticeably thin White nail plates that are more flexible than normal. Eggshell nails are normally weaker and curve over the free edge. The condition is usually caused by improper diet, hereditary factors, internal disease, or medication. Be very careful when manicuring these nails because they are very fragile and can break easily. Use the fine side of the adhesive board to foul them gently, but only if needed. It is best not to foul a nail plate of this type. A thin protective overlay of enhancement product can be helpful. 
do not extend these nails beyond the free edge because you really can't extend an eggshell nail because the way they, they curve over mm -hmm. and the way they curve over it looks kind of crazy. I don't know if y'all have a picture of an eggshell nail. Yeah, that's it right here. Oh. Right, they curve over. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Bruise lines of visible depressions running across the width of the natural nail plate. Okay. Uh, they usually result from major illness or injury that has been traumatized the body, such as pneumonia, a, a, a verse um, drug reaction, surgery, heart failure, massive injury, or long-lasting high fever. Bruise lines occur because the matrix slows down and produces nail cells from extended period of time, say a week or a month. This causes the nail plate to grow thinner for a period of time. The nail plate thickens usually returns to normal after the illness or condition is resolved. Now, you have hang nails. Hang nails is also known as aconels. It is a, a condition in which the limbless skin around the nail plate splits and tears. Dry skin or small cuts can result in hang nails. If there is no sign of infection or open wound, advise the client that proper nail care, such as hot oil manicures, will aid in correcting this condition. Also, never cut the living skin around the natural nail plate, even if it's dry and rough looking. Other than um, carefully remove the thin layer of the dead cuticle tissue on the nail plate. You should not cut skin anywhere on the hands or feet. Hang nails can be carefully trimmed as long as the living skin is not cut or torn in the process. It is against state board regulations to intentionally cut or tear the client's skin and can lead to serious infections for which you and the salon may be legally um, liable if not properly cared for. Okay. Uh, for a hangnail can become infected, clients with symptoms of infection in their fingers should refer to a physician. Signs of infection, redness, pain, swollen or pus. And we, like I said, we're not allowed to cut, but we get it done all the time. Or we get it pushed all the time. Okay. Lycanithium spots. Also known as white spots. A whitest discoloration of the nails, usually caused by minor injury to the nail matrix. They are not a symptom of any vitamin or mineral deficiency. It is a myth that these results from calcium or zinc deficiency, they appear frequently in the nails but do not indicate disease. As the nail grow, continues to grow, the white spot um, eventually disappears. Okay, melanotosis is darkening of the fingernails or toenails. It may be seen in black band within the nail plate, extended from the base to the free edge, uh, to the free edge. In some cases, it may affect the entire nail plate, a localized area of increased pigment cells, melanotosis, usually within the matrix is responsible for this condition. In matrix cells from the nail plate, melanin is laid down within the plate by melanocytes. That's what I meant. I'm sorry. I said melanocytes is melanocytes. This is fairly common occurrence and considered normal in people of color, but could be an indication of a disease, condition, or Caucasian, because that is so true. Your melanin, that um, a lot of times it can be hereditary or that's where you can see um, people that are diabetics and you can see a darkness in that nail plate. Um, discolored nails are nails that turn a variety of colors which may indicate surface staining, systematic, systematic disorders of blood or poor blood circulation. Although quite common, a discolored nail 
may be caused by several factors such as surface stains from nail polish, food, dyes, or smoking. The discolored nails could also be caused by internal discoloration of the nail plate due to biological, medical, or even pharmaceutical reason. Anichocosis. So this right here, these words, think of chop. Chop. So you can abbreviate and use chop as also known as bitten nails. That is um, Sienna, because she was talking yesterday. I'm always buying my nails. I'm always buying my nails. So think of and break that down to chop. Is bitten nails is the result of a habit of chewing the nails or the hard and damaged skin surrounding the nail plate. Advise clients that frequent manicures and care of the heart and epinithium can often help them overcome this habit. At the same time, improving the health and appearance of the hands, sometimes the application of nail enhancements can beautify the form nails and discourage the client from biting the nails. However, the bitten, damaged skin should not be treated by a cosmetologist. If the skin is broken or affected, no services can be provided until the area is healed. Anichotosis. So, um, exosis, H-E-X-I-S, you can break it down. It's referring to split or bridge nails that have a series of lengthwise ridges given a rough appearance on the surface of the nail plate. This condition is usually caused by injury to the matrix, excessive use of cuticle removers, harsh cleaning agents, uh, aggressive fouling um, techniques, or hereditary. Nail services can be performed only if the nail is not split. Exposing the nail bed, nail enhancement produced should never be applied to the nail bed is exposed. This condition may be corrected by softening the nails with the conditioner treatment and discontinuing the use of harsh detergents, cleaners, or improper fouling. These nail plates often lack um, sufficient moisture, so twice daily treatments with a high quality penetrating nail oil can be very beneficial. Nail hardness should always be avoided to brew the nails since the um, products will increase the um, brittleness. So, what we're going to do, we're going to go over um, to memorize uh, what is bruised nails? It's where the matrix is damaged, so mm -hmm. there becomes blood forms. Right, blood clot forms, exactly. What's eggshell nails? It's where the nail is very thin and um, yeah, flexible and curves over. Right. Curves over the nail. Curves over the nail. Curves over into the what? Hypernicium. The hypernicium. Uh -huh. Okay. Right. Curves over into it. Over in here. That's good. And it can be caused by what? Improper diet. Right. Improper diet. What else? Internal disease or medication. Exactly. It could also be hereditary. Right. Exactly. And um, mule's nails are what? This is visible depressions running across the width of a natural nail plate, so okay. like bends in. And what causes what causes the bruise nails? Major illness. Right, major illness or an uh, injury or trauma. Mm -hmm. Right, or trauma. Okay. Good. Hang nail. It's where. Um, living skin splits mm -hmm. and oh, it can like the what nail full no no the plate the plate right okay and uh, did I say bruise nails mm -hmm. yeah. yeah I did no I went to Asia. You said um, bruised nails, eggshell nails, bow lines, hand nails. nail. And what color can a bruised nail look like? It will have like a purplish blue discoloration. Good. And uh, also uh, discolored nails. Yeah. Discolored nails are what? The melon. Discolored nails. 
Melanin Discolored nails, they run in a variety of different colors. Okay. And not only that they run in a variety of different colors, it can be caused by disorder, poor blood circulation. Okay. Mm -hmm. And white spot nails. The look at that sources spots. Um is caused by what? Injury to the matrix. Exactly. And chop ani chop ani chopsis. Bitten nails. Good. Bitten nails. And ani pyrosis. It's like split ridges along the nail. Split of uh, bridge nails. Yeah. Exactly. And what is the eight components of the nails? Nail bed, matrix, blood vessels, ligaments. She said blood vessels. <laughs> nail bed, nail plate, matrix, cuticle, epinechium, hypinechium, special ligament, specialized ligaments, and nail folds. Exactly. But the matrix, if I ask you what is the matrix composed of, the matrix is composed of lint, blood vessels, and cells. Okay. But the, the major parts of the nail, which is the A, and the A is you, we named them. Mm -hmm. The nail plate, okay. the nail bed, the hyponychium, hyponychium, the nail fold, the uh, you just keep saying blood vessels. Oh, <laughs> you keep saying blood vessels. The matrix is oh. composed of oh, the blood matrix. vessels. Oh, okay. Okay. Yes. So we are breaking down with the nail itself, okay. the whole component of the okay. whole structure of mm -hmm. the nail. Okay. Okay. And each one of them have their parts of what they do. Yeah. So. And uh, I have nail they, plate, nail bed, nail cuticle. I have matrix down here, is that right? Yes. Nail matrix, hyconepium, echinepium, nail folds, and special ligaments. Right, exactly. The nail matrix is composed of lymph, right, blood vessels, and cells. Right, okay. exactly. That's what it's composed of. Okay. And if I ask you what is the. Um, the nail bed. What is the nail bed? It's the part right underneath the nail plate, the pinkish. Underneath, right. Yeah. But it's underneath where you would have to see nail plate. Underneath mm -hmm. the nail plate. Right. Okay. And uh, what is the nail fold? It's the skin on the sides. Right, and it's the rules, right, exactly. And it's also the splits and barrels. Yeah. Right, exactly. And um, what is a natural nail call? Onyx. Right, a natural And a nail, nail fold is what, sir? Huh? Nail fold? The nail fold is considered the um, the, the grooves. Oh, the grooves. The grooves and the splits. Okay. And it also, um, sits over in here. Okay. Okay. And basically we wanna that's it stop at this here. Uh oh mm -hmm. how fast does the nail grow? One tenth. Per month. Per month. Per month. And when okay. does it grow? on average it grows one tenth a month or right. Mm -hmm. That's it's, the it's normal adults, right? Right. That's the average. And um a damaged toenail takes how long to grow? To Nine. replace. To replace. Nine months to a year. Nine exactly. And the fingernail that needs to be placed takes how long? Four to six months. Exactly. And 
which now grows the fastest? Middle finger. Middle the finger. middle finger Thinking grows the fastest, exactly. And the thumb is slower. Right, and the thumb is slower. Yeah. Exactly. Good job, ladies. Good job. <laughs> Thank you. Good job. Yeah. We had a good teacher. Thank you.